when they say the time, they're not talking about the actual time. Yeah. This is a plain wrong right. time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't put your watch there and say, oh, time. Time. <laughs> time. T-H-Y-M-E. Hey, you have a degree at yeah. school, so <laughs> Boy, Mr. C, we're back with another one again. Here, I've got one of those demons, those people that, that had degrees in the university lifestyle. I saw there was a talent group, a talent of cooking jollof rice, which I didn't just want him to just be cooking for all these girls where all they do is say thank you, thank you. We wanted him to utilize it to be able to show off people this could be a school that you could learn. Now, if you don't know what jollof rice is, yeah, explain what jollof rice is. I wouldn't say it's a Nigerian dish, it's more of like a uh, West African dish mm. basically and um, rice is basically the most common eaten food in Africa and so jollof rice is basically rice with flavouring in it with tomato in it with a bit of spice in it that's just nice I feel like so, you, should, you should go through the ingredients you want to go like, through the ingredients right? no first worries. one is rice now normally you can use long grain rice but we decided to use basmati rice instead I know people are going to hate on that. Chopped tomatoes, yeah. tomato puree, garlic, onions, thyme, chili. You can't do food without chili. The first thing we actually want to start with is basically you want to make the tomato, the, the sauce basically for, that you're going to put the rice in. So with that, you use this chopped tomato, put some garlic in there, put some onions in there, some chili in there, and you just blend it up. I'm not going to teach you how to open a can. Is there a specific reason why they need two? You want to have the rice to have a bit more flavour mm. So tomato basically just gives it the flavour and everything yeah. But if you put less tomato in there, the rice wouldn't be as red I didn't even know that yeah, no, bro. I can cook, but I can't, can't cook jollof rice when you, when you tell all these girls that you, you chew with, that you're taking them on dates so What do you do? What do you mean? What's the restaurant for? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you won't cook for a girl? No, no Are you listening to Mr. C? <laughs> Let's blend <laughs> this one first Because I, like, this is full now we're going to add our uh, onions You can't go wrong with cooking because mm -hmm. no girl can do shakara for you yeah. Garlic, literally every food that you make All these ones say they're demons They're angels man We've never done any girl wrong And that's it man, that's how we should be done any girl wrong They're all queens He's <laughs> adding the garlic bread uh, Garlic, garlic bread, bread. <laughs> yeah, So this is the last cover guys Tomato right. as well Or oh, tomato Pepper, sorry I messed that up Didn't We're going to add Four. Are you just making the numbers up or you're just... I'm not, I'm not making the numbers up. You, you know exactly nah. what, how many specifically. I feel like when you cook, okay, mm. you will know what you like in your food and what you don't like in your food. Mm. You know how your food, what you want your food to taste towards the end. One, two, three, one more. Actually, we'll add one more for, for good luck. Good luck, Jennifer. <laughs> it's the CV. Doing this. Put it all in here. It's, it's the first thing. It's like making stew first. Basically. You don't know what stew is. Stew is just soup, basically. But it's soup that like, has got a lot of peppers in it. You don't want to cook this meal too high because you burn it. Then the rice, there's always the risk of the rice not being cooked properly. So you want to be careful and you want to always check it as well to make sure everything's good. If you have a look, obviously he's blended all the peppers. What did he even blend inside? I blended pepper, onions, um, tomato, garlic, and love. Yes. And then after that, what did you pour inside as well? So well I put some sunflower oil, better version. So you have to let this cook. While this is cooking, you cover it up. You shouldn't forget about this. This is one mistake that a lot of people make when they make jollof rice and add tomato enough. 